We now come to Bob Blackman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The cut to the taper rate from 63% to 55% was clearly a vital measure to support people on low incomes. What consideration has my right hon. Friend taken on lowering the taper rate even further so that we can actually make sure that people go into work, continue to work and benefit as a result? Well, I congratulate my honourable friend for championing uh, the announcement that was made of the reduction of the taper rate from 63% to 55%. He may be aware that was the original design of the universal credit system, and the Chancellor agreed uh, with me and uh, the Prime Minister that in trying to make sure that work pays, this was the right moment to do that, recognising the labour market opportunities that are there, and to make sure that people are better off working than not. Uh, I think that the, my, my honourable friend, having a Right Honourable Friend, the Chancellor, having already provided about a two and a half billion pounds of costs of that uh, annually, I'm not convinced that we will be seeking further to change the taper rate, but indeed to take up the, all the job vacancies that are currently available so we can make sure that uh, work really does pay.